Hey guys, let's talk wheel bearing removal. Uh, we all, you all need this kind of a tool. This is a kind of kit that you, uh, you do a lot of wheel bearings in today's cars and you want to do it on the vehicle. Instead of taking the, uh, the strut or the steering knuckle out of the vehicle, which requires a lot more effort on your part uh, and time, you need a kit like this. This kit is made by at at peam a t p e a m at peam i guess that's how you pronounce it yeah it's made in china but it's a decent set guys it's pretty heavy duty it, it, this case weighs about 30 pounds the 23 piece set the model number is a e dash 18 dash 05 it's 61 dollars on amazon it's made out of a uh, carbon steel it's got 23 pieces it's got very, very beefy freaking dies. And they got steps in it. You can see all the steps in this. So it's a lot of different sizes. It's got the forcing screw. And yes, guys, this has been used. I don't, a lot of times I'll, I'll uh, sometimes I'll take it off, the steering knuckle off the car, because I got a 50, 50 ton press, and I, I do it that way, and I don't use this part. But for the most part, You'd want to use this to save some time, especially if you ain't got a 50-ton arbor press laying around like I do. Just make sure you grease that forcing screw. And this is the nut. This is the nut that goes on it. And you can see it's been used. You can see the marks on the impact. There's your forcing screw. And it works very well. It's made out of a carbon steel. You can see all the marks on that. I've used it. I've used the forcing screw, but. Like I said, a lot of times I don't because I uh, I got a big press and I'll just pull out the whole steering knuckle. Here's your, uh, these go on the back side and obviously when you're pressing it out, you put this on the back side of the knuckle and you put this on the front side and you push it through that way and the bearing falls into this cup. All different sizes, as you can see. There's like five sizes there because you got steps. They have steps in them too, as you can see. Very nice little set. For the money, not bad at all. And these dies are pretty heavy duty. It's got a bunch of dies in it. Pretty much you can, just about any wheel bearing I came across that uh, it will fit. Um, I highly recommend this set. I don't think you got to spend freaking $300 on a set for this. Just as long as you keep that screw well greased. And make sure, guys, make sure everything's lined up. That's the biggest key when you're pressing, pressing in or pressing out a wheel bearing. Make sure all the adapters are lined up straight or you're going to have problems. But for the most part, very easy to use. I don't have any problems with it. And I've had it for a couple years now. And I highly recommend this set for the price. I mean, you could, you could have all kinds. There's all kinds of uh, peop, uh, manufacturers that make these sets. But uh, this one's relatively cheap. It's $61 on Amazon, and made out of carbon steel. The mile number again is AE-18-05, made by At Peem. A-T-P-E-A-M, 23-piece set on Amazon. I highly recommend it. I've had no problems with it, um, and I've used it quite a bit. In fact, I used it, I used it last week on uh, the uh, UTV, that range I was doing. I was pressing in new... Uh, I put in new wheel bearings all the way around, and I used this set, and it worked, worked effortlessly. Uh, without it, I don't see how you could do it. Uh, wheel bearings can be a, a pain in the ass. You ain't, got the, you ain't got the right adapters. Just make sure they're all lined up. That's the key, guys. I've done a lot of wheel bearings. It's not like the old school when you had the inner and outer wheel bearings. All your old timers remember that. Hey, guys, you didn't need a press, right? <laughs> you took them apart. and Unless you were pressing in a new uh, uh, race or something, you didn't need a, you didn't need a uh, press. But just my thoughts, it's a pretty nice set. Comes in this nice blue, mold, blue molded case. And I think it's uh, worth checking out, guys. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to be starting the, uh, the, uh, double, the double box flex ratcheting wrench series probably oh, sometime next week. A lot of you guys want to see that. It's going to happen. I just got a few more things to show you before I start doing that. So stay tuned. Have some patience. That series is coming. I always try to make. Uh, I always try to uh, 
get back to what you guys want to see, and, uh, and I always try to make it happen. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Uh, take care and have a great weekend.